Ahoy, Peter from Brighter Training and today I'm talking to you about the Microsoft Surface Hub 2S. Now this is something that I'd wanted to purchase for years, finally got around to convincing my husband to invest in one. So I just want to share our experience in purchasing this and to answer the question of whether we think it's worth it or not. Now when we went looking to buy one, we had a look online, there's a lot of videos out there showcasing all of the different features, basically the sales pitch. What we couldn't find though were any videos from people who had actually purchased one and were using it. So there's a whole lot of stuff that this thing does that we really probably haven't worked out yet. So this is in no way a comprehensive review of the device. It's really just sharing our experience to date. So what is it? It's built as a collaborative tool. It's basically a giant Surface Pro. So it comes in a 50 inch size screen. There is talk that they're gonna release an 85 inch screen soon, which would be really cool. It can be wall mounted or you can get this mobile stand that you can put it on. It is fixed so it doesn't move or tilt at all. A few other things to think about. When we purchase this, now the, I guess the elephant in the room, the main thing people ask about is the price. And for the 50 inch model, this will set you back around $14,000 in Australia. If you want the mobile stand, you're looking at probably another $2,000. And if you want a battery pack on top of that, probably adding another couple of thousand on top of that. So is it expensive? Really depends what you're comparing it to, depends what you wanna use it for. Uh, that's just what the price is. Next, when it comes to licenses, you will need a Microsoft uh, Meetings Room license if you wanna be able to dial in, or you'll need a standard Office 365 license specifically for the device if you wanna be able to book meetings through it and host meetings through it. Not a big problem for large organizations that have a lot of licenses, but if you're a smaller business, just you'll need to take into account that you'll need to get another subscription just for the hub. Now technical, if you've got a dedicated IT department, you won't have a problem. Uh, if you don't, expect a bit of a serious learning curve. Admittedly, we spent a few hours on the phone to Global IT and they were fantastic, but expect to get a crash course in things like uh, creating and assigning policies, licenses, the backend platforms like Azure and 365 Security and Compliance, all types of things that I didn't even know existed. Finally, it's not a personal computer. So you sign in and out each time you wanna use the device. The device itself does not keep any of your files. Uh, it wipes everything clean each time. So you need to be accessing your files via OneDrive or via a USB. So what does it do? It uses the Microsoft suite. So you can see I'm using PowerPoint. You can use Excel, you can use Word, Power BI, Surf the Internet, everything you would expect from a Surface device, of course, this will do. It does stream really well. If I'm working on a program or a project on my laptop or desktop and I wanna collaborate with other people, I can stream it to the hub without a problem. It does have a 4K wide angle camera built in. It's a great camera, but it is really designed for large groups or boardrooms. So you really can't move it around very much either. And finally, it does use Microsoft Whiteboard. That's pretty much the main reason I think why we purchased it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Whiteboard, I'll give you a very quick demonstration. Uh, I've got Bryce, who's the other half of our brighter training team, who's joining us here, just to help demonstrate how to actually use it. So with Whiteboard, you can save and work on different brainstorming sessions, different whiteboards, save them and access them. And you'll see that it's basically just an infinite whiteboard where I can scroll up and down and, and zoom in and out there. So Bryce, just for the sake of this one, can you think of a topic that we can think of that we can brainstorm on? So we are doing a brainstorming session on cats. So a couple of really good things though, if you're working with multiple people and they've all got different handwriting, uh, you can use something called a magic wand tool and that'll change the writing if all goes well, which it never does when I'm recording. So let's try that again. There we go. Uh, and yeah, we can do things like adding different post-it notes. I can search online and I can import files, tables, graphs. Uh, if I'm looking for particular images to support what it is that we're looking for, uh, I can also bring those up on the hub. Find a picture. And anybody who has dialed in and who is collaborating with you is able to interact with the whiteboard and make additions and add their ideas as well. So we can see Bryce doing that there. Uh, I can join in, give them a bit of a smile. So yeah, you get the point. It's highly interactive, highly collaborative. Thanks Bryce.
Okay, so. How do we use it? As you just saw, we use it for creating programs. We can collaborate with our clients and internally with the team. We can save what we're working on. We can send it to other people. We can edit those and come back to it later on and we can share it. So it really does allow for great collaboration. For remote training and meetings, if you think about a standard video call, really it's just a person talking over a PowerPoint slide. With the Surface Hub, it becomes a truly collaborative and engaging process. Even PowerPoint, I can actually interact with that. And anybody who's joining me on the meeting is able to see that. So once again, it just makes it a lot more interesting for people to be attending. So is it worth it? The short answer is for us, absolutely. It's added a huge amount of value in the form of customer experience, collaboration, time saving and flexibility. Uh, the long answer of course is it depends. There's a changing environment. Uh, every day there's more changes. We're working from home, we're working on large global projects. So the need to collaborate is, is really becoming a priority. For me, being able to integrate all of our systems and processes and come up with a truly synergistic system uh, is where you start to get the best return on investment and the best experience for your customer and your staff as well. There's a great community around the Surface Hub, so any questions you've got or any ideas you have, you can always go online and there's a lot of people there to help out. And Microsoft themselves seem to really put a lot of effort into listening to that community. So they're always coming out with new apps and new upgrades and new hardware to support this as well. If you don't have the budget, of course, I mean, $14,000 for the 50-inch monitor, it's, it's quite a big investment there. Uh, and if you're not gonna use all the apps, if you don't need to be collaborating uh, or reopening whiteboards and things like that down the track, then you can probably get away with a small ordinary whiteboard or a flip chart. Uh, and of course, if you don't need something this big either, you can save a lot of money by just getting a Surface Pro for around $1,200 or $1,300. Uh, or if you need something a little bit bigger than that, there's something like the Surface Studio, which is about a quarter of the price of this. So there you have it. I hope that gives you a little bit of food for thought, some ideas and understanding on this topic. Feel free to contact us with any questions directly or place them in the comment section below. Uh, and of course, if you're looking for any leadership programs or any other training programs for you or your team, then contact us uh, via our website. The details are also uh, down below. So otherwise, thanks very much for your time and we will see you next time.